Hello everyone, welcome back to good old Demon's Souls. Demon's Souls remake specifically. Here we are back in the Nexus. Uh, judging by my soul count, I think I've done everything here at the end of the last episode. If I'm like a little bit confused, uh, it's because it's been a good while since I've played this game. It's been a good while since I uploaded as well, uh, which I do apologize for. Uh, let's just, yeah, I think we're going to Upper Latria. There's no, no other path to take but Upper Latria here. So yeah, it's been a while. Uh, you guys probably know the reason if you stay up to date on my channel with the updates. You know that I have a brand new puppy. Um, currently 12 weeks old. And, you know, it's just... You gotta put in a lot of work with a small dog like that. Basically how it works is, this is like puppy training 101. Uh, aside from trying to get him off like all the bad behaviors, because they're just like naturally, you know, bad. Not, not because of their own fault or anything like that, but you know, they're exploring the world and shit. So you gotta get them off of that, but you also gotta like start establishing a routine, you know. I do work. Uh, Mondays to Fridays so it's just really a matter of establishing a routine where I can work and he can rest but we can still play that's what I've been like spending my time on because the way dog training works I think is that especially with a puppy is that it's really worth putting in the effort early on you know like, first few weeks, months, etc., etc., God, I can't even talk, uh, will be a struggle. But if you get through that, you will have, like, a well-behaved dog for, oh, fuck, like 11, 12 years. So, you know, it's better to put in the time and effort early. Uh, rather than, you know, like, struggle later on once the dog has already kind of settled into any sort of bad behavior. Can we just take a moment to appreciate this area? This shit is looking sick as hell. Uh, very, very Lovecraftian, which I always appreciate. I can actually feel the heartbeat through the controller. This is not something I've talked about before because this isn't Demon Souls specific but you know the PS5 controller has this I think haptic feedback it's called feature and I'm the same way as everyone else you know everybody thought that this would be a gimmick uh, but it's actually really cool and so far in the games I've played it's implement what the hell is this way Oh, this is where you go once the heart is dropped, right? Because I don't fucking remember this area at all. Or this part of the area at all. Um, so yeah, this haptic feedback thing is pretty cool. Gotta admit. I honestly don't remember this shit. Like this part of the area, yeah, it is. Okay, this is where you go once the heart is destroyed. Which is gonna come later. What the? Man. I gotta say, this area, like these enemies are probably like the jankest sort of like main enemies in any Demon Souls area. They kind of like run away from you, but they also have like this weird flying mechanic and they're just annoying. Because sometimes you'll have them fly around for like five minutes not doing anything. And unfortunately this trend is reflected in the boss of this area as well. Which, which we'll get to, don't worry, don't worry. Nice lighting. Lightning in the background. Yeah, this, this place is just very Lovecraftian. Uh, they clearly kind of toned it up a little, tuned it up a little bit. Turned it up? 
I don't know. Yeah, they they increased the Lovecraftiness a little bit, which is to be expected. I mean, FromSoft has learned from Demon Souls. They learned what's up. This thing is really cool. It was way better than it used to. Which can be said for everything in this game. God, yonic too. Ah, I've been operating on six hours of sleep a day, which is a bit less than what I norm normally do. But you know, again, puppy gotta wake up early. Although he's pretty good with sleeping. Uh, if you take him down to pee at like eleven. He can usually last until like 6.30. But of course, we also gotta go to work. Well, not go to, but you know, get ready. Because luckily I can work from home. This is what I'm talking about. Sometimes these guys will just like chill in the air and be really annoying. What the hell is, like, maxing out my item capacity? Strange. Because I specifically seem to remember me not having a lot of shit in my inventory. Okay. And they don't fall off, unfortunately. Unlike we, because we can fall off. Unlike us, I should say. Oh god, you guys are so annoying. Okay, you know, let's just go. Yeah, this in terms of, like I said, main area enemies is up there with the annoyance factor. Um, fuck it, I'm, I'm not. I'm not risking it. I've died so many times in this game already. The stupid stuff. Hell no. It's you know, if I don't remember what it is. It's probably not worth it. The... I know, like... Oh, hello. I have a general knowledge of... What items... Like, what key items are in this area. There's nothing here that I actually want, so... It's like, why bother? God, that looks so cool. Those chains. It used to look like there were spider webs in the sky before. Uh, like, really janky spider webs. Just looked kind of weird. Oh, hello there. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh. Shouldn't have locked on. I should have I should have left him alone. I should have left him alone. Yeah, well, whatever. Whatever. Listen, it's not that difficult to run back. This is actually one of the areas that's fairly easy to just kind of sprint through. And that's exactly what we're going to do. God, this looks so much better. <laughs> Holy fuck. And I'm like, like, this made me really hype for Elden Ring. Because you know Elden Ring is going to bring them graphics, uh, which I think it's still coming out on PS4, right? I don't remember exactly what they were saying, but I specifically seem to remember them. I seem to remember them saying that it'll come out on PS4 as well. But we don't even care about that because we got the five. We got the five and I'm not rubbing it into anyone's face. Only a little bit. Um... Only as much as, you know, socially acceptable. Can you please? Thank you. Q. 
keeping my shield up. Maybe it's just like not a good idea to lock on to these enemies. Because the camera goes very jank. This is a fairly tight area. What's on the other side there? I'm gonna go check it out. Which is stupid because I should really go get my souls, but eh, fuck it. The Stone of the Ephemeral Eye. Cool, cool, cool. Just gotta wait for the elevator. This area does contain one of the coolest NPCs. Coolest voiced NPCs. For sure. You know who we're talking about. Okay. You motherfucker. You didn't even kill me. It was just gravity that did the trick. As it tends to do. I, there's no way I'm in the correct world tendency. Yeah, no, it's not. You need pure white, I think. Oh, you know what? One of the things I forgot, which I promised to do, is to rescue Sage Freak. I did I did not do that. Uh, and I don't remember where his key is. I'll, I'll just look it up. Yeah, that thing ain't gonna be held together anymore. Not for much longer. So anyways, yeah, normally there's a treasure here. I mean, there's a ladder here on pure white world tendency, which leads to treasure. So yeah, I didn't really go into uh, the world tendency stuff in much detail, but it exists. It's just really kind of annoying to manipulate, I tend to find. You either gotta like die on purpose or be very careful at not dying. Oh shit. Why did I... Oh, you gotta drop down, don't you? To reach the boy. I mean, they give you an archstone shard here too. That voice. Armor is looking sick. Really sick, actually. Well, this is a nice husky-voiced fella. Let's open the cell. I'm sure nothing bad is gonna happen. God is cool. All right, Darth Vader. Just keep walking around in the circle like that. That's what he does. So yeah, that's again, nice fella. Doesn't sound evil or anything like that. Oh, this one, yes. It's actually possible to see what the fuck is going on here? One of the issues with this place was always that the graphics were super, super muddled. And it was like really difficult to tell what's where. You know what? Eat shit. Yeah, this is, this is a much, much better... This was always uh, an interesting area, to be honest. Like the bottom of the Tower of Latria. And there's like all this like, like blood and shit down here. Yeah, this is the other sort of... Fuck, you're loud. The other sort of like thematic enemy in the game. 
uh, or in this area, this weird like scorpion spider looking thing. It doesn't do much. It's kind of creepy because it has the face. That's about it. But you know, like I said, this is a huge improvement because you couldn't tell what the fuck was happening in this place before. Which is a real shame because the area itself is well designed. But honestly, there's not much here that we really need. This is where you need to progress. I think at least. Yeah, the this sort of elevator po puts you closer to where you're supposed to be going than the other one. I don't even know which area sort of could be classified as the most improved by the graphics. I'd honestly say probably this place, like Tower of Latria, just in general. It just benefits hugely from the better graphics. Because, you know, this place, obviously with the theme of it, uh, the kind of horror theme, it was really dark in the old version. And again, the graphics were extremely muddled. Yeah, this this feels just way more bloodborne. -y. Which, as I've said before, uh, just makes me long for Bloodborne 2. Which probably, well, you know, we shouldn't say it's never gonna happen. Is it unlikely to happen? Maybe. And of course. What would this area be without the, these guys? I mean, obviously you being much stronger now does help. But these guys are not any less annoying, believe me. Luckily, FromSoft wouldn't be evil enough to put like two or three of these things before the boss of this area. No way would they do that. Oh, there's a tiny one. I was like, what the is the tail coming alive? But no. Excuse me, I got a lizard to catch. This is the best crystal lizard killing weapon I've ever used in this game. They're always a pain in the ass, crystal lizards. Okay, can we please... Can we please not do that? Thank you. It would have been a shame to die there. Which I know very, very nearly just happened. Now this this is the point where it, it is a long run back, so... Really gotta try not to die here. Three of these fuckers. <sighs> cool. Maybe it is easier to just not lock on. Just take cover. Please land. Please come back. It's not the crossbow one, is it? It is the crossbow one, of course. Man, crossbow users, unbelievable. Why not crossbow users, not giant pains in the ass? Yeah, 
should have picked up the treasure. Whatever. Am I too lazy to go back? Uh, man, this is fucking like going to the top of the tower here. The Sears Tower. My bad. My bad. My bad. And are there only two of these things? I don't remember. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, I think it's dropping. It is dropping. Okay. The physics of this is like much more impactful. God, we all think okay. Huh. It's also, it's not like I'm bored, you know. I feel like I've adequately explained my situation. Still playing on point though. Like, listen. Being slightly tired does not make me less of a demon souls expert my comedic timing is just excellent like i'm proud of i'm proud of myself um i'm, I'm proud of myself because like like who else could achieve such perfect comedic timing like, it's not easy, you know, like, I sit down, I write the script for the video, my editor looks at it, we go over the stage directions, and we just sit down and execute it, you know. That's why the, the scenes play out so perfectly. And that's the secret, you know. The secret to a YouTube channel. You gotta have a good script. The only reason this doesn't really matter is that we now have like easy access to the boss. There was what 6000 something souls on my corpse. It's, it's it's whatever. At this point in the game it's whatever, honestly. We picked up so many renowned hero souls that it just yeah, it doesn't even matter. So yeah, about this boss. This is arguably... I, I, I would say this is the hardest boss um, in the game. Partly for good reason, because they are actually challenging. But also because this boss does have some jank to it. Actually, quite a bit of jank. Which is a little bit annoying. But, you know, it's just something you gotta deal with. And of course, the run back isn't the most pleasant. To say the least. In fact, there should be one more of these guys. Wait, didn't there used to be two of them? Huh. Am I just misremembering it? Because I swear there used to be two of these things going up the stairs. Oh well. So yeah, um, this boss has several mechanics which sort of work against you, to say the least. That's a lot of H-Spice. Hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. 
And we're also going to remove this and put on full moon. Buff our weapon. And I think we're good to go. Oh man. This boss is a motherfucker. Because here's the deal. Um, they keep all the annoying mechanics of the gargoyles. And they're also really aggressive. Have weird hitboxes. And can really, really easily... I hate that attack. Can really easily push you off. They like to spam shit too. That's what I'm talking about. Stop it, fuck. And sometimes, like other times, they're just like glitch out and not do anything for like half the fight. Fuck, okay. Thank fuck that missed me. That attack is bullshit. Yeah, that's a problem when they start fucking flying. It's like impossible to keep track of them. And of course, is there a second one? Hell yeah, there's a second one. Just gotta find which one is the weak one. I'm guessing the one spamming the air attacks. Uh, the one without the tail. Come on, fuck off. Thank you. And he... This is why I hate this boss. Because you can just like do really well and get pushed off by the second one and you're just in trouble full moon there are times where you gotta use your full moon grass uh, is he buffing? oh no he's doing that shit that's a rare attack. Trying to get the tail. They do have some like this weird buff attack. Where the fuck is he? Oh, come on. This is what I'm talking about. There, There is a reason this is considered to be the hardest uh, boss in the game. Like, on paper, these guys wouldn't be that challenging. But, okay, he's gonna buff, which I really hate. I didn't interrupt that, did I? I think... I don't know if it's... The ledge is wider here or not. Where is he? See, and that's what I'm talking about. Like, sometimes they'll just, like, go and glitch out. Which is, like, be really stupid. Uh, so I gotta be, like... Real careful. I have... what the hell? Did you see... 
Unbelievable. Unbelievable. This boss is... Fuck. Uh, sir, would you care to come down here? This is... Sometimes they'll do this. They'll, they'll just, like, fly around like idiots for God knows how long. Oh, if he glitched out. I'm going to lose my shit if he's glitched out. Okay, no, he's not. What are you doing? Come on. And straight into an attack. That's a good use of my buff. I'm glad I... Glad I buffed my weapon. How did that still hit me? Fuck off. I am not taking any chances here. Believe me. It's happened to me before. Where I got pushed off at this stage. So... If you think I'm playing around here, I, I am not. This is... This is the one Demon Souls boss you don't play around with. Okay, he's dead. He's not dead. How are you not dead? Unbelievable. Give me that motherfucking trophy. I deserve that. Talk about stressful. 14k souls too, that's like nothing. Man. So yeah, that that is arguably the hardest boss in the game. Yeah, definitely. Definitely the hardest boss. The ivory tower prisoners hung in cages, their flesh patched together to create fleshy monstrosities. It was the doing of Latria's new master, an old man who had long ceased to be human, seeking to create demons by his own hand. Interesting. Are we gonna do this? Or... I think we'll leave that for the next episode. I feel like we've had... plenty of excitement here. Um... I'm a little bit fired up from this fight. I'm gonna use a couple of renowned hero souls, because why not? I feel like it. That doesn't give as much as I thought. I thought that was a little higher on the tier. Hmm. Only thing is, the scaling on this weapon sucks. Let's get endurance, why not? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um think oh i know what we're gonna do yeah buddy he started his work this man is working i think with every boss something happens right he assassinates just to spoil it there's my man. God, this is a cool armor set. Ominous. So yeah, obviously this guy is evil. Um, what he's going to do is he's going to start assassinating uh, NPCs. Again, I think for every area completed. I'm gonna let him do his thing. Oh, I should have listened to that dialogue. Have we? I think this guy just dies naturally, right? Like he commits seppuku or something. 
Ah, okay. Deposit all this shit. The rest of it can stay. Excellent. Did I have some spare armor? Is that what's taking up all my space? No, it's just the official clothes. That can't be that much. It must be all my items. Okay, here's the deal, boys. We're going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here. I'm going to need to check Sage Frake, because that's a thing. And then we'll finish up Latria, and we can move on to Boletaria, which is the final area of the game, the final two. We're nearing the end. We're nearing the end. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Demon Souls. As always, if you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications as always. Take care and peace out.